Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the 4th episode of Hell of a Boss Season 1, Cheer Up! But first, before we get into my review of the episode, I must recap everything that happened in the episode. The scene opens with a shot of Cheer Up Town inside Heaven, where we are introduced to Mickey Mouse. Okay, just kidding, we're not introduced to Mickey Mouse, we're introduced to Cletus, who has a voice just as annoying and squeaky as Mickey Mouse himself. In this scene, we are also introduced to two other very obnoxious characters, Colin and Keeney. The three of them together sing one of the most annoying jingles in the series. Hopefully, that is not a controversial opinion, because I'd like to keep my like-to-dislike ratio over 57.4% this time. As the three of them finished their jingle, the scene transitions to the IMP office, where Blitz shoots the TV playing the advertisement, with Millie cheering him on. Blitz orders Moxie to fetch him another TV, and when he did, he began flipping through the channels. The first was a naked lady jiggling her tits around, while the second was an advertisement by Wally Wackford, and his new business, Wally Wackford's Wacky Idea Factory where he exploits talented geniuses. This is why we've got to protect our geniuses in society, guys. We don't want crazy guys like this enslaving them. Anyway, Blitz shoots the second TV, and suddenly they begin to feel immense shaking happening around them. Millie and Luna, in an attempt to feel brave, begin to pick on Moxie, with Luna slapping him straight into a wall, and a hole is punched through it, with the breeze falling right on top of Moxie. From the giant hole in the wall came a green-colored sinner named Loopty Goopty. Blitz asks if he has... That insurance thing. And Luna tells Loopty Goopty that he could have just used the door, and... I am eccentric, and must therefore do eccentric shit! Blitz sniffs Loopty Goopty's ass and insults him on how he smells, before asking him if he just died, and Loopty Goopty informs Blitz that he had died just moments earlier. Luna still insists on him just using the door, and Loopty had this to say. Shut up, dear furry! This is the man I'm gonna need you to kill! Blitz impressed that Loopty hadn't been in hell for a shit's length of time, and already wanted revenge which he really didn't, asks him what the target did to him. During this segment, Loopty has a monologue in which he literally says this. You see, I was not always an old man. Yeah, no shit, Loopty. Of course you weren't always old. Everyone who is old now grew older and was once younger. In fact, they too were once babies who shit themselves and cried for mommy to wipe their asses and feed them. Loopty Goopty hires IMP to kill his business partner, Lyle Lipton, so that the two of them can be reunited in hell, and the scene transitions to the living world, where Blitz, Moxie, and Millie find themselves on a bus tour. The bus stopped right in front of Lyle Lipton's house, and once the tour guide announces that it is in fact Lyle's home, Blitz, Moxie, and Millie hop down from the bus, and Millie says this. This rich guy. Yeah, get that fucking rich prick. I mean, in his own words, he left it to test the machine on the poor, like we usually do. So I think he's deserving of being killed. IMP make their way to the window and watch as Lyle Lipton prepared a noose for himself. Lyle attempts to kill himself, but by the grace of God, he is stopped because God sent cherubs down to stop him from hanging himself. Yay. Uh, great. I wanted him to kill himself, but whatever. Loyal, being old and senile, mistakes the cherubs for... Ugly orphan children! And the cherubs inform him that they are cherubs, and immediately began the process of trying to convince Loyal not to kill himself. Upon seeing this, Blitz smashes his face through a window and face plants on the ground, while Moxie and Millie, being the more intelligent ones of the group, just simply used the door, and began to counteract the cherubs by convincing Lyle to kill himself. Ooh. The two groups compete, and Lyle just simply asks for the six of them to just let him die. And Blitz responds, Oh, sounds like you need help off in yourself there, buddy. Moxie, what do we got for this fella? Moxie pulls out a myriad of different weapons, which it would have been funnier if Moxie actually said the name of each weapon he pulls out because, you know, he's the gun nerd. But I digress. Millie vomits because of the stench of Lyle's bed, and the cherubs declare that they are going to show him all the wonderful things Lyle would miss out on 
if he killed himself. And the scene transitions to a nature trail. The cherubs try to show Lyle the great outdoors, and as always, Blitz, Moxie, and Millie figure out a way to ruin it in one of the funniest scenes of the episode. Oh no! Stop looking! I can't stop! I've never wanted to die more than I do now! <laughs> The next scene opens in a mall, where the cherubs try to show Lyle something good, and once again, Blitz, Moxie, and Millie figure out a way to ruin it. Thank you for showing me this. Hey, dipshit! Wanna see whose lap you're sitting on? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want my kids around him either if I had any. Anywho, the scene transitions to Lover's Lookout, and again, IMP find a way to ruin it for Lyle. Ha! <laughs> nice try, ugly. Hey, horny lovers! Which one of you would fuck this old man? Upon this disappointment, the scene transitions to the opera, where Moxie has this to say about opera. There's literally nothing bad about opera. That's fact. Bullshit! Opera is annoying French hog shit. But wh whatever, let's just assume that he was in America, where you can have incorrect opinions. Somehow, Blitz figures out a way to make opera even worse than it already is, and accidentally killed the opera singer, which disturbs Lyle and pisses off the cherubs who go up to argue with IMP, and here is their last interaction before they fight. That's it! I have had it! You three monsters have messed with us enough! We're just trying to do our job! Well, so are we. Enough! We are saving that shitty old man's life, whether he wants it or not! Well, someone wants that fucker dead, okay? And he paid in advance, and I spent it all on this. So he's gotta go! You are all such disgusting, loathsome beasts! Your kind is nothing but dirt that shitty dead people tread on! And now, you're trying to meddle with the lives of humans?! So are you! So why don't you shut your trap, you judgmental, cotton candy, tit having bitch! Cletus and Colin shoot arrows at Blitz and Moxie, while Millie and Keeney begin to beat the shit out of each other. Just kidding. They're just throwing little baby punches at one another. Moxie climbs on a rope and shoots a random sandbag, which falls on top of Keeney, then catches Millie. The two of them make out while Millie opens fire on the cherubs, accidentally killing the people in the audience instead. Lyle Lipton comes to the realization that he shouldn't kill himself, and that life is worth living because he has money and he can buy all the things. Moxie's bow tie and Millie's bra fly past Blitz, and I, if I'm going to be completely honest here, I thought they were having sex when I first watched this, but they weren't. When Cletus and Blitz meet, Blitz attempts to fire his gun, but is out of ammunition, and then decides to throw his gun at Cletus's face. Suddenly, Blitz, Moxie, and Millie begin to fall, and when they hit the ground, the piano player hops off the wooden plank sticking out of the ground and somehow was the only thing stopping the piano from flying through the air. But whatever, I will suspend my disbelief because this is a cartoon. The piano flies through the air, and in a desperate attempt not to get crushed, Lyle moves over a seat, showing off his gigantic twig and berries, only for the piano to somehow move over and crushed him anyway. Moxie has this to say. Well, well, would you look at that. You did our job for us. <laughs> the cherubs panic, and Colin begins saying the Lord's name in vain, which Keeney beats the shit out of him for doing so. The cherubs begin to retreat into heaven, only to be kicked out and told by the Vivian Medrano cherub to go fuck themselves and stay out of heaven, as Blitz, Moxie, and Millie disappeared without a trace. The next scene opens back in hell, Blitz is seen overlooking Imp City through the hole in the wall left by Loopy. When Moxie asks if Blitz told the client that they failed, and Blitz replies, Oh, I already sent him a text, and we're in good hands, because texts don't make people angry. Suddenly, a very pissed off Loopy Goopy came into the conference room, creating another big hole in the wall, 
And suddenly, Lyle Lipton also came into the conference room, to the shock of everyone, including Loopty, who thanked IMP for reuniting him with Lyle. As the two of them talk about what two genius robotic inventors would do now that they are in hell, Wally Wackford came through the ceiling and asked, Did someone say I say inventors? Which, before we continue, uh, way to be, uh, humble guys. Yes, you're, you, you are geniuses. You are so geniuses. I mean, incredible geniuses. To the point where, uh, you guys both created the new stupidest way to die. Blitz told Wally Wackford to stop fucking up his walls, and Wally made a stupid pun and slapped Millie's ass, which prompted Blitz to tell Wally to get out. Oh, 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 I say, oh, no, I'm serious. Get the fuck out! All right, now that I am done with the recap segment of this video, it's time to move on to my actual review of the episode. Honestly, I think Cherub is an underrated gem. It's the most hated episode of the series, but I don't think it is deserving of that hatred. This episode was great, from the characters to the plot, I mean, it, this episode is one of my favorites. Everything in the episode, besides the breaking of Newton's laws of physics and Cletus' annoying voice, was great. And I think this episode was awesome. However, just because it is not deserving of the hatred it gets, doesn't mean that it is the best episode. I'd still give this episode a 6 out of 10, and I'd put it in C tier next to the pilot episode on this tier list here. Remember, things can change as I make more reviews, but for now, it is going in C tier. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because it is free and you're gay if you don't. Also, be sure to comment what you thought of this hell of a boss episode down in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time. God bless you and have a great day. Bye bye. No, I'm serious. Get the fuck out!